Hey guys, welcome back. Here we go with uh, what would they call her? The TikTok therapist. Yeah, I just want to uh, do a reaction to this video. I think this woman, if she's your therapist, well, I know she actually got fired or whatever. But if this was my therapist, I mean, <laughs> I would. I would never be able to take a woman like this serious. I'm sorry. And I'm guessing that's why they got rid of her. She's a joke. I mean, nothing that comes out of her mouth should ever be taken serious. But anyway, let's hear what she got to say. I want to share some quick little tiddly, tiddly bits about body count. I'm going to just say this. Body count is man's most peculiar projection because men tend to like <laughs> externalize their shame and they just like cannot fucking fathom that a bitch has touched anyone else think about the ego and you get this is my problem a lot of women think like that the reason why our women in america really think like men they move like men they don't think anything they do is precious. And the result of our children is enough proof. Because our children are just running around like wild animals. And this is the result. We're having children with women like this. It's ridiculous that a, a, a psychiatrist would even talk like this. That tells you how, how terrible our situation is in America. I'm just talking about women in general. The centrism that out of 8 billion motherfuckers on the planet, you want a bitch to have at least two, three bodies when you're carrying a... We want you to have no bodies. That's the problem. Y'all just think y'all can run around here. Women, wombs are supposed to be exclusive. This is why our children have all these problems. Like, you would think a woman that is a psychiatrist would realize the connections. But no, this is what they do. They try to confuse you even more. And all the classes, all the schools she done went to, she don't even know the real simplest things about men. She has no idea. Like, a woman like this, I'm glad they got rid of her thousand i really wish hope and pray that one day y'all find a therapist that will help you resolve all the fuck shit so you can have a fruitful life not from a woman like you because everything's a game to you and this is why you're in the situation you're in what is she doing now only fans and another thing on uh what would you call her? The TikTok therapist or whatever. It don't even matter. Anyway, a woman like this, I really think she has lost her mind. Because she really believed she was helping people. Like some people are really insane and don't even realize it. Because also I know that she's been gaining a lot of weight. If you start going back to her videos, I mean anybody could just start overeating. But I know a lot of people, when they start losing their mind, they start gaining weight as well. But, yeah, I just thought that was strange that she's been gaining so much weight in such a short amount of time. But I believe this woman has lost her mind, and this is her therapy, TikTok. How ironic. <laughs> So she goes on TikTok and let it all go to feel good so she can get a good night's nice rest. <laughs> She's a joke. You have no right to even have a conversation about men, mental state at all. Because the fact that y'all still be stuck on body count is very, very high school. The fact that we're not even sure who our children's mothers are is high school. This is a terrible woman. Like, I, I have no words, but as you can see, her career fell apart. Now she's on OnlyFans. That's going to fail also. 
terrible women like this trying to mislead women and make men feel bad. That's her true intentions. Anyway, this was a short little clip. Like, comment, subscribe. I want you